First at 7 o'clock, the sky may be blue, but Queenslanders aren't this morning with the mighty Maroons clinching an origin thriller. Yep, they, had, that. they had their, their backs against the wall and oh. the season, as we know, the series was on the line. It's pretty beautiful there this morning, isn't, isn't it? it? But the undermanned Queensland side, well, defeated New South Wales 22 points to 12. It had all the hallmarks of a state of origin for the ages. Three players KO'd within the first three minutes before Cameron Munster's replacement set up the first try of the game. Tom Dearden, the 21-year-old on the boot, has put the Queensland centre Valentine homes over. The Blues hit back through a pair of Panthers teammates. They're coming from everywhere. It's Daron Luai, who scores for the second time in origin. And again through debutant Jacob Safidi. His brother scored one in last year's series and now he's on the try scoring sheets. Matt Burton went sky high. Kalen, we have a problem. It's up there forever. <laughs> it's the highest kick in history. But it fell in the favour of the opposition with Kurt Capewell putting the Maroons back in touch just before the break. It looked like Queensland had scored again, but the real action was happening in the back play. Dane Gagai took offence to Burton's clumsy treatment of Kalen Ponga. Gagai got him big time with that last one. That's what, that's what that big lump was. Stay, stay in the middle. Well, yeah. Matt Burton, this this is going. Going. While the Maroons fullback got his revenge later. So often relied upon, Nathan Cleary couldn't produce a match-winning kick as Ben Hunt ran away with the series. Ben Hunt wins the origin for Queensland. The Queensland Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, let's just say her celebration pretty much sums up the feeling in a whole state. <laughs> Very pleased to say the Queensland Premier joins us now from Brisbane. It was a star-studded affair in that box last night. Premier, good morning to you. Can I say this to you? Any boss who sacks anyone for not turning up today is a bum. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds about right, Carl, because what a win. It was unbelievable, and every single one of the boys needs to be congratulated. They worked as a team. They said that Queensland spirit uh, drove them, and, oh, my goodness, what a match. Unbelievable. And to be there uh, mm. at Suncorp Stadium, the atmosphere was unbelievable. That echoing of Queenslander right throughout with 52,000, Oh, my goodness, it was the best I've seen. How was it for, um, I, I note there, and just for our audience, uh, bottom left of screen in that, in that vision <laughs> is, the, is the Nine Entertainment boss, Mike Sneesby. Uh, and he's obviously a blue supporter. What was that like to rub it into the boss's face like that? <laughs> yeah, I did pat him on the back a couple of times during the match. How's it going, Mike? But, uh, look, he's a good sport as well. So, yeah. <laughs> The game I think one, you sort of right? wanted to crawl away a little bit there. The yeah. <laughs> and I must say, too, the New South Wales Premier, he yeah. was there for half the, for most of the match and then he sort of disappeared a little bit towards the end too. But he's a great sport as well. And it was great that he came up here and we went to a pub, we had a drink and we walked down Caxton Street. So we survived that. Yeah, look, I thought he was very brave to take a stroll down Caxton Street with all your Maroon supporters there. So, so what happened? Like, did he get filthy that his team was losing? Because word is he left about 50 15 minutes early. Soft. No, I think he just went down to the field. So he didn't actually leave the uh, precinct. Yes, he. Um, but he was a great sport. He was, um, you know, he, he came and had a drink, um, you know. And yes, it was very brave of him to walk down Caxton. It was a sea of maroon. But there were a few blue supporters there uh, mixed in there. So I think he, he felt like he had a bit of company. He looks like a gentle breeze would blow him over. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, he's a good sport. And of course, we're looking forward to seeing the Sydney Harbour Bridge light up in Maroon. Maroon's legend Darren Lockyer joins us now live from Brisbane. Darren, good morning to you. It was a game for the ages, was it not? Oh, it was, it was brutal early. Uh, three, three players gone in the first four minutes. And I mean, at one point there, we were on the sideline. We were worried that. We're going to run out of players. That's how, how brutal it was. And it just showed how much it meant to both teams, the physicality. And I think 
the crowd at Suncorp obviously gets gets the energy or the mm. players and that creates that sort of atmosphere where they just want to rip into each other. And, and then once the game settled down a bit, it just become a, a matter of desire for the Queenslanders. Yeah, mm. I think that's right. I mean, Ali just, just cut behind me like a Stradbroke Island shark. Um, she, she's keen on talking to you as well. Um, I mean, I could talk to you all day. Um, but in your opinion, just quickly on the fighting side of things, um, Freddie mm. was blowing up about that. You were always a lover, not a fighter on the field. But was it, in your opinion, <laughs> good to see the Biff back? Yeah, look, I think it, <laughs> it, it, it always spills over at origin level. So um, I, I think both both players probably weren't weren't happy with uh, the punches they threw in terms of they weren't really hitting too much. But uh, they, I, I think Freddie's got a point. But at the same time, um, you know, I think twelve on twelve at that point in time was uh, was what I think mm -hmm. most people expected in the stadium and, and watching it. That's as close as you're going to get to an admission from a Queenslander this morning. Absolutely, isn't it? <laughs> hey, uh, Darren, I want to know how you yeah. felt going into it, right? Because I think, you know, you looked on paper and you guys, you, sh you shouldn't have been in it, right? You lost Cameron Munster. Then when you saw what happened in those first couple of minutes, losing some of the big boys, did you go into that feeling confident that, that the Maroons could win? Look, I, I'm always confident, especially at Suncorp. Um, we talk about it, you know, playing at Suncorp, it's different. It, yeah. it, what the teams look like on paper, it, it's irrelevant because they just grow another arm and another leg, the Queenslanders, because they just, they just know what it means to the fans that are in the stadium. They know what it means to the fans at home. And the crowd really do lift them. And they just want to, they just want to every, fight for every inch. That they, and that's what they did last night. They just turned up mm. every, on every play when they had to, and then, you know, by the end, the, the Blues were frustrated. They just couldn't work out how to get through that Queensland defensive line. And they started to make errors and they started to, to fatigue mm. and Queensland got on top and it was a special night. And we've already, you know, they're, they're saying it's one of the best origins ever and I'd have to agree. Yeah, it was one for the ages. Agree. Um, look, Cherry Evans, he's the most understated dude mm. in, in the history of, of Origin. And he's so brilliant and so consistent. Um, you had Tom Dearden as well making his debut. I mean, there's every reason why Queensland, you know, shouldn't have won last night, especially after losing a bunch of players. It was exceptional. Hard to take um, if you're um, in New South Wales and on the coaching staff there. Uh, Andrew Johns over the years has had a fair bit to do with the New South Wales side, justifiably one of the greatest ever. I love this after the game last night. Joe, can you put a finger on where you think it went wrong for you South oh, Wales tonight? Just a big moment. Yeah. Just a big moment. And now we have to listen to all the go on with for the next 12 months. Yeah. Drives you mad. I hear you, Joey. Mate. <laughs> jo Joey's the best. <laughs> Well, he's the best. What would you say? Oh, well, Darren, what would you say yeah, about he's all a realist. that? He's a realist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. It, it, it hurts, you know. And yeah, it does. New South Wales were favourites to win that game, and it, so that would hurt even more. A yeah. lot of people expected New South Wales to win, and Queenslanders, they, they just they love it because they know, just don't underestimate us, especially yeah. at home, in a, in, a, in a decider. So I thought Ponga was outstanding. Someone had to stand up with Munster being out. Ponga did that. Cherry mm. Evans did that. And then, yeah, Tom Dearden. There was a lot of talk about him going into the game, but he was outstanding. He and was and I think Paddy Carrigan... Well deserved the Wally Lewis medal. We've seen a lot of the players coming out here. The bus is now left to take the players that need to catch planes to the airport. But I tell you what, I have to bring you this interview with Jai Arrow. Take a look at this. Yeah, it was unreal to um, win a decider at Suncorp. There's nothing, no better feeling and just grateful I was a part of it and um, clearly I'm I've enjoyed myself. Talk to me about the hat. Oh, I swapped some. I swapped some bloke um, for the for my shorts. So um, grateful that he could, you know, give me his give me his hat. <laughs> Drink responsibly, kids. Uh, I'm sorry, Jairo, but I have to call you out on this one. Uh, we pulled up here at 6:30. <laughs> We pulled up here at 6.30 this morning and I saw one Jai Arrow climbing out of an Uber with that ridiculous hat on, wearing some really tight bike pants that he clearly swapped out for that hat, scurrying in. So, yeah, he got home at 6.30 and that was about half an hour ago. I said, what, like, what is doing? He was just so bewildered he got on that bus. So, yeah, 
a lot of sore heads up here this morning. Well done for dragging himself from there to that bus. It. That is amazing. And yeah. he'll probably have no recollection of any of that whatsoever. Perfect. It's yeah. tomorrow. So, well Quite done, Joy. Best. Yeah, well done, I'll Jess. send it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah please do. Well done, Queensland. What are they? Are you talking the third person? Yeah, and clearly, I've enjoyed myself. Yeah. Oh. Proper Queenslander. Love well done it. on being able to string a sentence together. Amazing. Too. Well done. What a gift. Prime Minister, very good morning to you. Um, your first significant lost as a PM. How's it feel? <laughs> no, it was a Queensland victory. They, mm. they were the best team. And I was involved in some NRL diplomacy last night. I've got to say that most of the Pacific leaders are Queensland supporters. Uh, Prime Minister Marape in particular was very passionate uh, last night uh, about, of course, PNG and the nations of the Pacific are so passionate about their footy. And I was watching it with uh, the Prime Minister of PNG, the Prime Minister of Samoa, uh, and and other leaders, and they were uh, they were shocked. Some of them who hadn't seen rugby league before uh, in any scale were shocked at the brutality of the game. But it, it was fantastic. It was a great game, and mm. real hats off to to both teams. But congrats to Queensland. Uh, that'll stop Carl gloating. I'll just concede up front to. <laughs> Avoid the sledges. It makes it an easier yet. morning, I'm not I quite hope. quite finished yet. I, I just wanted to ask, I mean, does it, do you feel like you've yeah, gone off just, to a just, bad start over there? Just give it a tick. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, he, he can't help himself. There you go. I, I'm, I'm generous that's towards it, that's him. That's it, that's it, that's uh, it. And, you know, what do I get back? Nothing. Uh, no. Albo, mate, you're well, chatting to great? him for ten minutes. I've the way got him the for game three and a half hours. The Ben Hunt try. The Ben Hunt try at the end was a great way for the game to end, I think, mm. and uh, it would have been a great atmosphere there with passionate Queenslanders. Um, just finally, before we go, on a much lighter note, who was your player on the field last night, Premier? It has to be... <laughs> ben Hunt. Oh. Oh, you held Did us you see there. that, right? That was amazing. <laughs> I, thought well, I had say to, like, Tom wire it up in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, can't. Oh my God! That like you think about that. That was like the final couple of minutes, yeah. mm. and he ran like he was running a hundred meter, two hundred meter final. It was a great like, night. It incredible. Was a, it was a great night, and it was a great yep. show. Queensland has turned out in force. It was just a terrific sure endorsement did. of Queensland. Well done, Premier. Thanks for your and time. And that Sydney Harbour Bridge. Yeah, Sydney yeah, Harbour Bridge will be Can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. <laughs> Queenslander. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks, for it. Premier. Right. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>